Hi, I'm J.D. Gunnell. And I'm Jerry Goodspeed. We're with Utah State University Extension. We're here to talk to you about pruning tool selection today. There are two basic types of pruners that you're going to find. One is what we call an anvil type. And what an anvil type is it has a blade and then it has a flat surface that that blade cuts against. We normally don't like these because what they do is they crush the stem usually instead of cutting it real nice. And they're usually inexpensive, but again, you kind of get what you pay for. The other style of pruner is called a bypass pruner. This has a blade that passes by the cutting surface and has more of a clean cut when you prune a branch. That's bypass. And making it much easier for that tree or shrub to seal that wound over. We like to use di different tools for different cuts. Kind of depends upon the size of the cut. These hand pruners we we'll use for anything smaller than about a half inch. Uh, very small. And you know, as a general rule, what I say is if, if you have to force it, get a bigger tool. Uh, this isn't the right tool. So for smaller stuff, these work great. For larger cuts, approximately an inch to an inch and a half, larger <laughs> branches, you can use these loppers. These again, they're still bypass, but what they have is a longer handle to give you some leverage as you pry down and cut the branch. And if anything doesn't fit into that, thank you, sir. Welcome. <laughs> you get a saw, and that's what these are for. Uh, this is a, a smaller one. It snaps into place. It'll cut most branches up to about a, uh, two to three inches in that range. But if you have anything that's really large, you can either use a, um, a knife with a motor on it called a chainsaw, or they do make larger saws. So keep in mind what we call the double S rule. If you're sweating or swearing, it's the wrong tool. And visit our website for more information, extension.usu.edu. Thanks for watching.